Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today we are back in Spin Tires Mud Runner going over another brand new mod. Now I normally start in the game like on a map or something and I wanted to start at the main menu this time just to give you guys a little bit of an idea of the scope of this mod because this is uh, Zidon's Land Rover Series 3 and this is basically its first entry into Mud Runner but you can see there's this version here but there's also this one and 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 it keeps going like there's so many versions of this that when you download this mod you'll be like oh yeah i just you know subscribe to a mod and then you open up your garage and, it'll, and there's just like boom they're everywhere so i definitely suggest uh knowing that ahead of time because there are quite a few variants of this thing and we're going to uh we're gonna run a few different ones just to see if there's any differences between them um, we're gonna actually, all of them are gonna be Land Rovers, but they're all gonna be different ones. Obviously, they're all, you know, Land Rover Series 3s, but let's see, um, we'll pick up this one. Yeah, so that way they're all different colors, too. That's even better. So we're gonna start a new game on the Expedition level, and we're gonna see literally what all the differences are, uh, and if there are any, between these Land Rover Series 3s, and even if there aren't any differences, we still have an awesome bunch of, um, of Series 3 Land Rovers, really, so, um, we've got a ton of upgrades and trailers, we've got a, uh, garage cart, front cover, fuel cans, off-road, outback, trophy, winch, off-road, or, let's see, fuel, service, trophy, roof rack, sp spare tire, oh my god, oh my, what is that? Yo! What is that? Oh my god! It'll carry like one point, but dude! That, if that isn't the coolest thing in the freaking world, I need to do a, like a logging episode with that, because that is so cool! Let's see... Um... Spare on the hood... And then, uh, trophy look. Well, actually, no. You know what? Service. On top. Winch. And fuel cans. So now this thing, this thing is fitted up. So, now I want to see how the interior view looks. He interfaced the dash properly. That is so good. The steering wheel doesn't turn. But to be honest, that's not a huge deal to me. Because still, like, look at that. You even get that trailer with it. Like, I am, I am just all about this, man. I am, I am so, so, so happy about this whole package right now. He did a great job. And actually, we do have, do we have lumber on this map? No. No, okay, so we'll have to take it somewhere else for that. But, still, nonetheless, this trailer is super cool, and I'll take it somewhere that actually allows you to do something with it um, in the very near future in another video. Now, switching to another one of these... Oh, actually, no, you know what? I want to switch to this one, because this one's already lifted and has, like, massive tires on it. So does the other yellow one. And I'm going to back up so the ye other yellow one can spawn in. I want to see if these... Like, see if these are that much different in terms of... Like, upgrades and stuff like that? Um, it doesn't look like it. They can still run the trailers as well. So... I love that little mini lumber trailer. I just think it's so cool. Let's see. Um, black double spare outback. Spare trophy double. We'll just spare outback. And then uh, trophy. And that's... Okay, that's about all we can do. We could do a garage cart if we wanted to. But I'm not going to run a garage cart on this particular one. This particular one, I'm just going to take it out for a run. Now, we're going to pop it into third. Well, third, I say third. Low three. And uh, go for a bit of a run. And it's not going to be a fast run because these are not fast. Don't let that, don't let anything fool you. These are not fast. But they are some of the most fun things to drive because the way he made these work is so, so well done and very realistic. It, it really goes to show that when you put a lot of time into something in spin tires, it can become a really amazing mod. And that's not to say that the mods, like, you know, with a lot of power or the trucks that are really fast 
That's not to say those are bad. It's actually not to say that at all. But if your goal is realism and like authenticity in 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 your mod, then this is this is a, a, a pure example on how to go for a goal like that and then get it done and and get it done well. Cause this this is so good. Cause you hear you hear the sound of the engine. You also hear the whirring of, of the gearbox and and like just the you know whatever might be whirring underneath the Land Rover, be that the gearbox, the transfer case, the diffs, who knows, it's probably about to break, but you don't care because you're on an expedition in the wilderness. Now, let's see, all right, uh, repair, that's 100 and 100, and then those can be filled up at your convenience at a fuel stop. So that's not bad, that, that's not bad at all. But also consider when you're going along in low three, I don't think you'll need to fuel this thing up that much because you literally use like one liter a minute. That's it. I suppose at max you might use two or three liters a minute in automatic. Now it's only a hundred liter tank, but even so, it's still not bad at all. And see, that's the thing is like most vehicles, like I want to just take them like crazy rock crawling and things like that. This, you know, you could do some with it, but to be honest, man, I I am super happy to just cruise down a trail. Um, in, in one of these, and then, you know, actually, you could pop it in high, and then really just kind of, okay, it's, it, it, it bucks a bit. <laughs> oh, God, this thing is weird and high, it's really weird. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, God, oh, my God, it's bouncing around like a madman. Actually, though, this momentum we have in high should help us get up this hill, though. Come on, Land Rover! Come on, Land Rover! I feel like Clarkson. It's not really doing too well. There, there it goes. Now it's doing well. Yes. Come on! Dude, the anxiety is real right now going up this hill, like, not knowing if you're going to make it up or not. Like, this is intense. Like, it gives you that real feeling of, am I going to make it up this hill or not? And and that's a feeling that I haven't felt in a while in Mudrunner because I've been using a lot of mods that are, like, just frankly point and shoot. And again, that there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that when you get a mod that's like this, where you, oh, God, I'm in a bad spot. If I can just kind of ease my way. Uh-oh, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Spin it around, spin it around, spin it around. That was very close. <laughs> that was very close to being a bit of a disaster. Come on, climb. Climb, Rover, climb. Dude, we so almost flipped it over back there. We so almost flipped it over. Oh, I love how it, like, chunks a little bit when you go into gear. I bet real Land Rover defenders, like, grind a bit when you go into gear. I bet those... Like, they're probably not even synchronized gearboxes, to be fair. Oh, no. Little bit of a winch. Little bit of winch help. Frankly, I don't know if we're going to be able to make it over those rocks. I'm going to go around the side and then try and ease back onto them. And I still don't know if that'll be the right way to do it. Uh, oh, God. Let's just go to that tree. I I'm just going to winch to that tree. Oh, that's, that's the roof rack. Oh, dear. Oh, don't die. Oh, dear. No, it's, it's definitely in a bit of a bad way now, which means we need to grab another Land Rover to come get it. Let's see. Garage cart. I don't really want the garage cart. Um, let's see. Outback. Fuel service. Let's do, let's do service. And then, spare Outback. You can do Trophy Double, but you can't do an Outback Double. I want to do an Outback Double. Well, I guess the problem with that comes about when, you know, I, it's probably it's probably for the best because if you tried to put an Outback Spare on the hood, it, it probably wouldn't work out too well. But I'm going to, I got this thing jammed in high, and I'm going to try and barrel my way to the other one as quickly as humanly possible. And uh, once I get down there, once I get down there, we should be able to, rescue it fairly easily. I say fairly because I'm not sure how easy it's going to be or if it's going to be hard. It might be hard. We don't know. 
All right, let's release that winch. Nope. Come on, come on, and into high range. Thankfully, that hill isn't actually that far away. So, whoa, you really get, like, a true idea of how bouncy it is in here when you're in the first-person view. Good grief. That is ridiculous. That is absolutely nuts. Okay, find your way out of the water, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And, oh god, this hump's gonna be real. Oh, oh, it threw it just like it did the other one. I mean, I kind of, I, I totally expected it to do it at this point because this is really the same exact thing as the other one, just this one has the, the camel trophy uh, livery on it, so not really too big of a difference between the two. Getting over these rocks as quickly as freaking possible. I'm gonna use this edge to try and get some grip, because that's the way we got the other one up. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, come on. The way to get up there may be to get above the other Land Rover and then winch it, you know, winch to its side or something. Because I bet you we can climb this. Oh, we got it! Whoo, we did it! <laughs> Alright, so, with only a minor crash, we're above the other Land Rover now. And we can back up a bit. Oh, for God's sake, man, will you get in the right position? Okay, e-brake, please hold. Let's do, ah, yes. Hopefully this works. Oh, 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 that's not pulling it the way I wanted to pull it, but you know what? That might help because if we, we keep turning it that way, it may actually fall back onto its wheels on its own. Oh no! Oh no! Oh dear! Well, the other one... The other one... Is functional now. However, it's quite damaged, and the one up top is fully damaged out. So, see, this can occasionally happen when you're dealing with vehicles that are modeled realistically, uh, and then you try to put them through some of these conditions, and then you re oh, don't you even freaking think about it. Don't you dare think about it for one second. There we go. Oh my gosh. Alright. Uh... Oh, I don't know what to winch to. I don't know what to winch to. Screw it, I'm going for that one. It'll work just about as well as all the others. Release it! We can back it up just a little bit. Well, I'll tell you one thing. If the only purpose for the yellow one was to save this one, it, it fulfilled its purpose. It fulfilled its purpose, and now it can go in peace. <laughs> Let me back up just a little. Try and recenter myself around that. Oh, God. Recenter myself around the road. And it only took two Land Rovers and two rollovers to get one Land Rover up that hill. But I'll tell you one thing, dude. This mod is one of the most fun. Like, if you're looking for a realistic and authentic feeling, you know, mod experience that's very high quality, it's got the proper dash, it, it just feels great all around, you have got to download this, this mod. It is so good. It's so, so, so good, and I can't recommend it enough. So if you guys enjoyed this mod review of this Land Rover in Spin Tires Mud Runner, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what y'all thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button for more daily videos like this one. And I'll see y'all next time. Talk to you guys later.